We'll get started now. Okay. I believe I just started the recording. Yes. Hi, everybody. I am Rob Pirakowski, and I am the Assistant Director of Online Teaching here at Open SUNY in Albany, New York. And I'd like to thank you all for uh, coming uh, today to uh, check out our presentation on our one of our newest resources, which is um, a an experience for um, anyone interested in teaching online. Uh, this is a free and open research resource, um, so there is no charge or. Um, or any kind of uh, login necessary to uh, check out the course. So it's very easily shared. And um, I'm, I'm here to give you a little tour of this resource. resource. It's on the main screen here. It's called Interested in, on, Interested in Teaching Online. And um, so again, I'd like to thank you for coming. Um, I, uh, as I mentioned, I am the assistant director of online teaching. I am also an online instructor for Cayuga Community College in the Finger Lakes. And um, we have been uh, involved in uh, the conversation about whether or not to teach online. Uh, uh, with, uh, we have been in involved in the conversations around online readiness. Um, we have some uh, significant uh, practitioners in the SUNY community and outside the SUNY community who have contributed to this resource. So I'm going to draw your attention to them uh, relatively quickly here. Um, as you can see on the main screen, uh, the uh, core and expert teams leader was Alexandra, is Alexandra Pickett. And Alexandra marshaled uh, lots of expertise throughout SUNY to uh, create this resource for you. So I am uh, clicking down through it here. Um, Aaron Maney and I uh, are listed uh, as course reviewers. We reviewed the course uh, before it uh, went live. And we are here in the uh, in the presentation uh, with you. So if you have any questions, feel free to um, list them in the chat. I ha at the very top of the chat box, oh, thanks. Um, I put the link, but I see that Aaron put it uh, as well. Uh, so feel free to um, tour this resource uh, with us. Um, so let's, uh, let's dig in. So if we um, just check out the home page, um, you'll see that uh, this is web-based. It is not housed in uh, a learning management system. And as I mentioned before, this is a free, openly licensed, open SUNY, self-paced online resource. And its intention or its, its um, learning objectives are to help faculty check their readiness to be successful in teaching online. We see that as a main menu item here. Um, also uh, to review common terms related to online teaching and learning, to make sure faculty know the core competencies needed to teach online, to explain the value of applied effective online teaching practices, to provide an overview of benefits and affordances of teaching online, to help faculty see if online teaching is right for them, and to introduce faculty to the online Open SUNY community of practice. This is a place where faculty can meet others interested in online teaching and learning. Uh, they can network, they can ask questions, they can get help and share what interests them about online teaching and learning. It's intended for anyone interested in learning more about online teaching. So it's appropriate for faculty, for administrators, for deans, um, librarians, technologists, faculty developers, instructional designers, etc. So uh, before we uh, move, I move into a tour of this resource, 
Um, are there any questions? And I will um, check the chat as well. Okay, great. I don't see any any questions yet. So um, again, I mentioned that it is not housed in an LMS uh, in a learning management system. And essentially, there are two ways to engage in this self-paced resource. So somebody just just drew on it. I will uh, get that off in a second. And let me get that right now. Okay. Um, so there are two ways to engage. Uh, one is the mapped out journey. And if we scroll down the resource a little bit, we see There are two ways. Uh, the mapped out journey, this, uh, this gives um, an opportunity to explore um, all the content in a guided way. There are activities to be completed, uh, things to do, and uh, <clears throat> participants can earn a badge uh, in the mapped out journey. The meandering way is uh, simply uh, offers an opportunity for us to uh, look at anything, any resource we wish um, as we please. There are, uh, in the mapped out journey, faculty are, uh, our participants are provided with a formal path that guides them step-by-step step in a logical way through all the ma materials, activities, and assessments. We begin with some online faculty uh, readiness activities, complete several assessments, and view several videos for an overview of the basics in online teaching and to check technical skills. So there is a faculty readiness page, which I'll show you right now. And here we have lots of videos. Uh, participants can observe an online course. Uh, there are lots of uh, different uh, instructional videos apparent, uh, uh, here uh, in terms of uh, just learning about online learning. And so as you can see, I'm rolling over the 10 common myths about teaching online. There is a computer skills um, checklist and there are, uh, and as you can see, this is interactive. Um, participant can read this, check, check off what he or she uh, knows how to do and submit, uh, submit that. Um, and there is always a link back to the home page. I clicked on uh, the interested link. So um, each module begins with an overview and is followed by a series of topics. So in the mapped out journey, you'll see that there is, uh, again, step by step, the modules are uh, described, the objectives are, and uh, as are the activities uh, coming up in the module. So just to give you a peek at uh, what each module entails, module two is all about competencies. Module three is about effective practices. And all of these, uh, in all of these activities, you can um, earn a, uh, a badge for your efforts. So I'm gonna check the chat. Great. So are there any questions? Okay, we'll keep moving on.
in the meandering way. There's a little description. So um, you can explore any resources you would like on the entire website. And this is web-based. There is a checklist to track what we have seen and what we have not. And as you can see, it draws from the same pages and resources for, um, for the, the guided uh, tour through the, through the materials. It is just a different way to, um, to look at all the resources and find what resources um, are valuable to you. Um, at the end of it, um, participants are encouraged to join the conversation. And what that is about is really jo joining uh, the Open SUNY community of practice and uh, becoming part of the Open SUNY community. And so uh, participants are encouraged to um, seek out um, uh, practitioners in their discipline and uh, those who share the same interests and uh, share best practices. There are, uh, there is a section for uh, under competencies, there are master tools and technologies. And as you can see, there are essential tools uh, that are listed here. And then there are good to know tools. And there are <clears throat> more, uh, there are more strategies and uh, there's more advice for uh, more to explore. So this resource is quite robust in its scope for uh, providing uh, not only an overview and readiness, uh, but also uh, uh, an opportunity to uh, become part of the larger community uh, in our, our community of practice uh, in online teaching and learning. So are there, are there any pieces that you would like to see in particular? As you can see, it leverages a lot of the expertise in, uh, in SUNY already. We have uh, Bill Pels here. We have uh, lots of instructional designers uh, in our videos. So I'm just going to uh, share some pages with you here. It addresses um, all the different uh, terms. Uh, this particular page addresses the different approaches to online learning. Uh, a lot of clarity here in terms of explaining the differences between uh, not only uh, terms uh, that are used in online learning, but also uh, the different approaches uh, to online learning in regard to blended and web enhanced uh, teaching and fully online teaching. What is andragogy? What is fully asynchronous learning? So, and as you can see, Aaron is sharing lots of um, great links in the chat to, uh, uh, to draw you directly to some of these pages. So I'd like to know if you guys have any questions or share some thoughts about what you've seen um, thus far. Does this cover uh, cheating? I have not seen any direct, uh, I have not seen this course directly address, address cheating, but um, I am looking right now. Hi, 
Hi, Martha. This is Erin. Um, just as part of the engaging the student section in module three, there are some best practices for, um, you know, how to effectively engage them in the material. Some of that does help uh, with the cheating issue. And then also as we talk in, I believe it's module two about the design and designing wisely. Um, some of those are preventative ways, uh, but also there, there is much more around that conversation, certainly. And uh, that might be a really good consideration to bring back to, um, to this team to, you know, to maybe think about adding that in. So thank you for that. Hi, Lisa. Um, I'm uh, addressing your question about uh, about building MOOCs. I, I do think some of these uh, some of these competencies uh, and some of these elements in uh, in this course would be useful for MOOC development. Uh, in particular, uh, understanding some of the related terms and uh, some of the related terms to online learning. Sometimes uh, I, I have felt out in the MOOC community that uh, for those who are not uh, exposed to fully online courses, um, and, and it's a minority in the MOOC community, uh, sometimes there's not a full understanding of the difference between an online course and a MOOC, um, which uh, again is, is just uh, a, a matter of semantics. Um, for the most part, but helpful in terms of understanding uh, the relevance of some of the resources that, that we look at. Um, I think uh, the conversations are always helpful, uh, but uh, one thing uh, I think the master tools here uh, would be great for, uh, for MOOCs because MOOCs, uh, much like um, our traditional online courses, uh, they do not have to operate solely inside of uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the platform. So in other words, they can leverage third-party tools as well. And there are some uh, great uh, pieces here for uh, third-party tools. Thanks, Rob. Is there anything in particular in there about mapping everything back to learning outcomes, kind of reverse engineering? Uh, it, I find it, that? It doesn't get that far in, okay. in, in terms of uh, designing a course. This is really for instructors that want to dip their toe, toes into, um, into teaching online. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Sure. I'll compare notes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, the structured path. I'll uh, I'll just get back to the main page. I'll just show you where that where that is because. Um, it is uh, just on, right on the main page that uh, we mentioned. Uh, it's just uh, scrolling down a little bit. And so these two big graphics, the mapped out journey and the meandering way are, uh, are readily available. Other questions? So as you can see, I uh, just want to show you that uh, if, uh, if any of you want to go through uh, some of these activities and uh, earn uh, a digital badge for, for those activities, there is um, a menu item right across the top, uh, which is collect your badge. And um, this, uh, you can uh, earn a badge for all of your uh, efforts in taking some of the some of the check your understanding uh, little quizzes here. So I encourage uh, all of you to, um, if you have a, f a faculty member interested in teaching online or um, the dean of a department or uh, anybody, anybody interested in teaching online, uh, I think this would be a great resource outside of uh, giving our personal perspectives. Um, uh, this would be a great resource to, to appoint someone to, uh, to inform them uh, 
uh, basically about what's going on um, in Sunni online teaching because uh, when you watch uh, a lot of the videos, I, I just uh, spent a few hours watching the videos and uh, getting really familiar, familiar with uh, everything in here. I haven't looked at it in a while. Um, it's, uh, it really gives uh, some depth and breadth into uh, uh, not uh, not designing an online course, but what the what the experience is like for uh, practitioners and students out in the SUNY community. So, as Aaron mentions, uh, there is no instructor for this course. This is a self paced experience for all. Uh, that's why it's not in a learning management system, um, and so there's no need to sign in, um, and it's a completely open resource. So. So Giselle, uh, is there a platform for you to design and offer our online course? So um, what I'm assuming from your question, question is that uh, your institution does not have uh, a, a preferred learning management system that it uses. And so, <clears throat> you know, just uh, before you can answer that question in the chat, or uh, you're certainly, uh, if you can uh, activate a microphone, oh, you're using Blackboard Learn. Um, so uh, then I'm not fully understanding your question. Uh, Blackboard Learn would, would uh, be the uh, learning management system in which you would design uh, an online course for your campus. Ah, I see. So you're asking, is there an open platform that uh, you can use? Well, um, if you're interesting, interested in developing a MOOC, um, that would be Coursera. Uh, if you work for SUNY, um, perhaps, and, and are able to, it really depends on the course, on the type of content. Um, but Coursera offers uh, more or less an open platform and so does Google or Goog. <laughs> That's fine. No, course sites, as far as I know, uh, is no longer available. I think that was the last I heard on course sites. Okay, everyone, it's kind of short and sweet. Um, if you have any questions, I'll be here in the chat, but uh, I encourage you to check out the resource on your own. It's, uh, again, it's a self-paced experience, so the design of, uh, of the resource itself is meant for uh, everyone to self-serve. So um, I hope that uh, this was informative for you, and um, I hope that you are, are able to uh, find this resource useful and uh, share it with your colleagues. And I thank you all for coming today and checking this out.